Jen, good afternoon, everyone. Here at the intersection of College and Grove, just south of it is where the accident happened, out in front of Woolsey Hall, a very famous landmark here at Yale. And you can see with the markings in the street here, this is where the cyclist was struck and went down. Just after 5.30 Sunday afternoon, when it was already dark, 79-year-old Stephen Redeker of New Haven had just crossed through the intersection of Grove and College, heading southbound on his bike. This time he was struck by a black vehicle. The vehicle fled the scene following the collision. The victim suffered serious physical injuries resulting from the collision. We've obtained uh, numerous videos and we've taken still photos from those videos and we're still um, gathering additional video footage of um, the vehicle and uh, the vehicle fleeing and the path of travel of the vehicle after the accident. The accident occurring within about 100 feet of this sign reading bike route share the road. We were all shocked. He runs the Towers, which is home to over 300 residents in a complex where Mr. Redeker lives. He's been here for a few years and he has been the person who actually recently ran for an election and he won one of the elections, so he's now considered one of our resident advisors. It remains unclear what color clothing Redeker was wearing and if it had any bearing on the crash. We're not going to be able to release that information right now. As of this morning, Redeker remained in critical but stable condition in the Yale New Haven Hospital Neurological ICU. Riding his bike is not a surprise at all. He's the kind of person who would hop on the bike and go here and go there and you know every time you saw him he was so full of energy. Uh, police say that they do have at least a partial license plate. They're able to create uh, quite a few still pictures from surveillance video provided by Yale University. And they're looking for a black SUV or truck likely with damage either on the front right quarter panel or somewhere on the right side of the vehicle. If you can help call New Haven police, of course, we're praying for you, Stephen Redeker. We're live here in New Haven. Tony Terzi, Fox 61. One news. All right, Tony, thank you very much. And we are following more.